Hey, welcome back. Now today, I'm going to show you how to remove moldings from your vehicle or your friend's vehicle. Anyway, let's get started. So right now, what you're going to really want is grab some heat gun or a hair dryer. Um, I got this for 15 bucks at Walmart. I mean, it's cheaper than a hair dryer. Um, you're going to want to get yourself some spatulas or something with a edge to it. Got this for a buck. And you're gonna need some cloths and goop off. Now I used to work for General Motors so if we didn't have goop off we had adhesive lay remover or stuff called old sole. Stuff that we also use in fabric to dry them when they wet. Optional you know just in case you might want to get some compound from Carbrite or something. Optional things. Now you want to protect yourself from the avalanche. You really don't want to do this in the sun. It's going to be on you. You're going to be using a heat gun. Or you don't want to be doing this in the rain. So if you have, like if not, a nice shady area or a garage, grab yourself a tarp. Now optional is you want to see what you're doing. Also this is going to make a little bit of heat too. So make sure you're angle it just right so it's not on you or the paint too much. And of course, we're going to be using a heat gun. We're going to need a um, power strip or a stencil cord. Alright, let's get to it. Now this is why I set up a tarp. It's hailing right now. So Chilliwack is very unpredictable weather. And my uh, camera's in the hill, so take that away. So it's hailing. This is why the tarp's up. It was sunny. Now I got most of the board off. This chemical here dry too quickly. I'm only gonna do a soap the cloth. Thank <laughs> you. 
take off trim or moldings off the side of the vehicle. So later what I'm going to do is when the weather stops or gets nice again. I don't know what it's doing right now. Stop raining, stop hailing. The sun's gone away and it stopped windy for a little bit then it starts picking up again. But you gotta love Kilowack. Anyway, what I'm gonna do next is when it gets better I'll give this truck a bath then dry it and if it needs it, cut and polish it wait a week, put paint sealant on there Wait another week and then I wax this thing right up. So, 